Hi there. Welcome to the Health Analytic Insights Podcast. This podcast is all about creating a community of like-minded individuals who are passionate about the field of health informatics. I hope to share information and advice in topics such as health analytics, digital health, biomedical engineering, and data visualization in healthcare. And in exchange, I would love to hear from you, dear listener, about your experience and interest in this field. You can drop me a line at healthanalyticinsights at gmail.com, and this email, along with any references discussed during this podcast, will be listed in the show notes below. If this resonates with you, don't forget to follow and subscribe to this podcast, as I'll be releasing new episodes bi-weekly. Without further ado, let's get into it. So you might be stumped when deciding which career path to take. Should I follow health informatics or bioinformatics? And you might even be confused by the differences between these two similarly named fields. In this podcast episode, I'm going to break down the difference between health informatics and bioinformatics. What are some similarities between the fields and then what are some differences? So you can make a decision which career path is right for you. So firstly, what is health informatics? So this field can be described as a use of both health and clinical data to drive and support patient health outcomes. There are multiple case studies that fall under the field of health informatics. One case study is you know, the process of transferring data securely within the hospital to various electronic health or electronic medical records. And so this whole process of transferring this data securely uh, through a messaging system falls under the realm of health informatics. Another example and case study of health informatics is when you analyze patient data from patients who are readmitted back into the hospital, and you might analyze this in the form of a clinical dashboard to help monitor hospital key performance metrics. So these are just two quick examples of the processes and the analysis that goes into the field of health informatics. And this is standard when it comes to running a healthcare or clinical organization. So health informatics can be described as the merging of skills from the information technology department and the healthcare and clinical department. Whereas bioinformatics can be described as the use of biological data to model and solve problems in fields such as genomics, proteomics, and pharmacology. So the field of bioinformatics is responsible for the fast development of the COVID-19 vaccine. It used to take 10 years to get to a vaccine to market, and we've done it in one year. That's really amazing and just shows the ability to process large amounts of data from biological experiments, and this stems directly in the field of bioinformatics. Another case study from the field of bioinformatics is the Human Genome Project. This wrapped up in the 2000s, and it was a mapping of all the genes that make up human DNA. And this can have far-reaching implications when it comes to understanding uh, diseases and genetic abnormalities. So now that you have an overview of the differences between health informatics and bioinformatics, I just want to give you know a comparison of some of the skills that might be required in both of these fields. So when it comes to bioinformatics, you might be looking at courses, taking courses such as biostatistics, epidemiology, and computational biology. Where if you're you know doing your master's in health informatics or your undergrad in health informatics, you might be taking courses again in biostatistics, epidemiology, healthcare management, and courses that are you know related to the processes within the hospital. When it comes to the software tools, in bioinformatics, you might be looking at you know, programs such as R, SAS, SPSS, MATLAB. Whereas in health informatics, you might be looking primarily at SQL or SQL, R, and then like a data visualization tool such as like Tableau, Click, Power BI, and understanding of HL7 standards. When it comes to looking for entry-level roles in these fields and to get your foot in the door, if you're looking to get your foot in the door when it comes to bioinformatics, you, want, you might want to look at positions um, in LinkedIn or Indeed, such as a research assistant, a junior bioinformatics specialist, or computational biologist. 
whereas with if you're interested in breaking into the health informatics field, um, you might be looking at titles such as system analyst, clinical decision, decision support analyst, methodologist, epidemiologist, and you might even consider, you know, looking at some help desk positions in the hospital to really get your foot in the door and then rise up the ranks. And now when it comes to where places of work that you might find when it comes to the field of bioinformatics versus health informatics, for bioinformatics, you might find positions in academic research labs, because oftentimes you need a higher degree, such as your master's or your PhD in the bioinformatics field. So you might be able to get employment straight away from your you know, master's or PhD lab. You might want to look at government organizations, big pharma, and medical laboratories. When it comes to the health informatics field and where you might find places of employment, you might find places in hospitals, so looking at the clinical decision support department in hospitals. You might work for an electronic health record or electronic medical record vendor, such as Cerner, Meditech, Epic. These are just a few of the major HR vendors that you might find employment with. Government organizations here in Canada, we have Health Canada and the Canadian Institute for Health Informatics. So, you know, organizations that work primarily with healthcare and clinical data. And then if you're really interested between data science and the healthcare field, you might be looking at a position such as a medical data scientist or clinical data scientist. You might want to look at healthcare startups for these types of new on the cuff positions. And when it comes to professional certifications and organizations, you can look at the bioinformatics.ca page when it comes to looking at resources in Canada specifically. And then when it comes to certifications, uh, Digital Health Canada has a certification which might which falls under the field of health informatics. And I'll also leave some of these resources in the show notes below. So this has been like a really quick overview of the differences between bioinformatics and health informatics. I hope it's given you a brief overview of, you know, which path might be right for you because I've heard this, you know, on Reddit posts and people have asked me questions like, what is the difference between bioinformatics and health informatics? Is it the same thing? Yes, no, there are some similarities between the different courses and different learnings that you might obtain from both of the fields. But when it comes to actually working in the fields and your output of work, it can be very different. So I hope this has given you a good overview of some of the skills you require some places of work that these fields employ and some entry-level positions that you can apply to today. So if you have any questions, I would love to hear from you at healthanalyticinsights at gmail.com. And I hope you subscribe and follow to this podcast as I'll be uploading episodes bi-weekly all about the field of health informatics, data visualization, and much more. Thank you and have a wonderful day.